Good morning and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Ascent. We are on the launch pad with Jebediah in the rescue uh, rescue ship three. Uh, it's called three because it can hold three people. What we're going to do is go up to the science lab that's uh, orbiting Kerbin right now and we're going to pick up Bob and Gizzer. They are the last two Kerbals in space. We're going to get ready to end the Ascent series. Uh, I have uh, recently got um, Breaking Ground uh, expansion, and so I can't put anything on the ground with this playthrough, so we have to start another series. So we'll probably call it Origins, but right now let's uh, get set up for this launch. Let's uh, speed up time, watch uh, the Curb Lab 1 come around. We're going to watch, I forget what its altitude is, 78 by 77. So it's low, <clears throat> low curb in orbit. Uh, we're not going to dock with, we're just going to rendezvous with and uh, EVA the Kerbals and then bring them back to uh, the surface. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good. If we're ahead, then that's okay. Yeah, we'll probably be ahead anyway. That way it can catch up with us. So here we go for the launch. we will try and true. Blast straight up, turn to the right. <laughs> and uh, I am going to try to turn just a little early. So here we go in three, two, one. Every time I turn early, it fails. So. I've just got fins on here to help. We'll start just a little bit early. Go ahead and throttle up for the next section. Getting some atmospheric uh, pressure there on the capsule. We're two thirds of the way through this burn. Jeb, do a good job. Got to go up and get. Oh, yeah, we're coming off of. Uh, coming off of the prograde vector there. We'll continue this burn after jettison the booster rocket. We'll stop right there because we're at 72. Still at 75 apoapsis. Not in space yet. <clears throat> okay, we're in space. Tilt down just a bit. 
We're at 76. 34 seconds to our apoapsis. Why am I slowing down? Oh, target, target, target. Okay, we need to push our apoapsis out just a bit. I'm watching the numbers in the bottom left. <clears throat> Getting ready to go. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hold on, orbit for just a second. My prograde is moving. We'll probably jettison the rest of this fuel. We don't want to get too high because we want this to come back into space. So let's go ahead and do that. And finish getting orbital here. What happened? Yep, periapsis. Yeah. We're good. Got a close approach over here within 55 kilometers, so we'll get that closer. Are we? Yes, we are. So we are in orbit on track to rendezvous with the. Let's go just a little bit higher. Eight kilometers. And yeah, that's close. to get on our descending node which we just passed but <clears throat> we can fix that let's turn normal for just a bit got another close approach right here within four kilometers can we get that any closer Switch to target. Probably prograde. I don't have any SAS or anything on here, so. No, we're going away. Let's go orbit and then prograde. <clears throat> yeah, within two, one. There we go, within a thousand, that'll work. Say so five and save there. We don't want to lose that one. Let's see if we can see. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, here is Jebediah's ship. I thought it was over here somewhere. Came out of Zoom. Should be behind us, yeah? Oh, yeah, there it is. Curb Lab. Curb Lab 1 has two. The last two remaining um, Kerbals in space. Let's go ahead and zoom around to right here, probably. <clears throat> On the dark side. We've gone ahead and sent back all of the... Oh yeah, we have to bring what's left the science experiments on there. We don't want that going awry, so we're going to bring everything back. When we get there... We're 
we're going to do is switch over to target now. That way we can slow down <coughs> when we get here. Okay. Let's see if we can find everything. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Wow, we're really close. Let's go ahead and uh, kill off this speed here. I'm going to try to use, I'm not uh, really good with it just yet. <clears throat> well, I mean, we're 700 meters. Let's just, uh, let's just go ahead. 1,000 meters, but no, we can get closer. We can get closer. <laughs> I'm going to use a trick Satchmo, Satch, from Satchmo Plays channel. Um, it's kind of demonstrating, but, I mean, I got the concept down. It's just... Want to wrangle this in? <laughs> We're going to wrangle this in. We want to pull. Want to pull that one over there. <clears throat> we don't want to hit right on it, but we do want to get close. So, then we'll stop right beside of it. Coming in at three meters per second. A little bit. Want to pull. Watching the net ball, pulling that. We're set to target. <coughs> Within 500 meters, we'll speed up time just a little bit more. Jebediah, of course, at the controls. <laughs> so if anything happens, we can blame Jebediah. Now from here, we can actually push the retrograde marker onto the and that will slow our speed down as well and get us a little bit closer. And then kill off what we don't want. We're within 180. We're going to go ahead and drop this down to zero. Two meters per second going away. We're going to turn normal so that they'll have a good entry into the oh we have to get Jebediah out uh, when this happens we'll get Jebediah out let's turn on the lights we have battery oh we got to be careful for that <clears throat> okay let's jump over to curb lab and we will get Gizzer out first we will PVA Gizzer oh slow down there big big boy and let's find jetpack lights are on calm down where is He's going to be out this way, I think. Oh, yep, there we go. Gizzard on our way to rendezvous with Jebediah's ship and board it. There she comes. And happy to be going home after... I'll have to look to see how many... How many days she was up here? Well, actually, we can, uh, yeah, we'll put Jeff the controls. Okay, we're going to tab over, get Jebediah out, 
Kids are on board. <clears throat> and we will transfer her down to the To, let's see, let's go back to Jebediah, just kind of make sure he's hanging out. Not going to go anywhere. <clears throat> I think that'll be fine. We will go back to Bill now. Bob, I'm sorry, Bob. Uh, Bob, you need to EVA. You need to turn around there. Take the data. He's got all the experiment points with him now, all the experiments. He left the lights on. Going out to meet his friend. They've been separated for a long time. <laughs> Bob was the Bob and Gizzer, I believe, were the only scientists. We may have had one other scientist. I'm not for sure. We just kept saving Kerbals from space and uh, and. Uh, None of them were scientists. Hundred meters. Two hundred meters, sorry. Lights on? Yeah, lights are on. Take all that data with you. Then we're going to move you down. Transfer the queue. Transfer Bob down here. Jump back over and grab nobody else left on board. Okay, Jeb. Back again. Okay, now time for re-entry. We will do it over here. Just setting up a maneuver, we'll change it when we get there. Uh, let's get away from the ship here. Let's turn retrograde a little bit. <coughs> More target. <clears throat> so bring us down to 71. Kill that. We need to. Curb lab 1. It's, we're too close, I think, at the moment. To. No way to grab. No. No. I'm trying to unset target, but that's all right. We'll go around. Here we go. Go around the planet. Then we'll uh, bring in our burn here. Where do we stand on electricity? We're good.
Hello. I know what that was all about, Jeb. What were you doing? Get some charge on that panel there. Under retrograde. We're going to move this just a bit more to there. And then land. Name for the ocean. <clears throat> just don't want to hit the mountains. So in two minutes, let's go ahead and speed up time. We'll start slowing down. I think we are good. <clears throat> this tends to get a little nose heavy. So I'm going to leave the um, engine on. Hopefully it will pull us down that way. Do we have a drogue chute on here? Sure. No, I don't think so. No drogue chute. So here we go. As long as we don't hit the mountains, I believe we'll be all right. As soon as we get over the mountains, we can throttle up, slow ourselves down a little bit. As soon as we start getting heat effects, I'll put on a little bit of throttle. We're coming in at 2,085 meters per second over the mountains, which is good. on a little throttle. Watching the G-Force here, there's KSC right below us. Seventeen hundred meters per second. <clears throat> Still thirty thousand feet, uh, thirty thousand meters. Altitude crossing over KSC, and we are out of fuel. There we go. Hold it, hold it.
there's KSC. Where is the island? Yep, here's the uh, alternate runway. SAS off later. Ooh. Cloudy day over KSC for the return. But no problems. Now, these are the last Kerbals in space. We are ending this series, the Ascent series. And I will start a new series called Origins using the Breaking Ground expansion. Gizzard Bob and Jebediah. Over the water, 4,000 meters. Very nice, very nice. Well, if I would save it just in case and get them down to the ground. We'll see how much um, uh, science Bob is bringing back. Bob, of course, the scientist who's been in the Curb Lab since its inception, since, <laughs> since it went up, I believe. 240 meters. Wind taking effect here. Four point five meter splash down. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's see what uh, see what kind of data we got back. Uh, twenty five science earned, so very good. And the sci our gizzard may have gotten uh, no no experience points gained for gizzard. So we're done with that. Uh, let's take a look at the tracking station. Well, let's go into the. Here is our um, tech tree. We'll go to the archives. Kerbin, of course. The Moon. Minmus. Duna, of course. Nothing at Ike. So, Duna and Kerbin. The Sun, of course, on our way to Duna. Nothing else. Eve was not uh, visited. Jewel was not visited. Nothing else. Uh, we had launched to Moho. Uh, ran out of ran out of fuel. Uh, taking a look here, we've got Kerbin, the Moon. This is our comms satellite links around the Moon. Uh, no one is left on that uh, on the surface. We've got Minmus and our comms link. No one is left on the surface. And do not where is Duna Duna Duna? Duna, where are you? Behind us. We have a comms. Yeah, we've got comms and a rover. The Duna rover. Which uh, the wheels were broken. Could not get an engineer upgraded in time to uh, fix them, so it is stationary at the moment, but who knows, maybe future.
anyway, I hope you like this series. Hope you like this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.